welcome to the Barnabas Minute. For those of us who have read through the Old Testament, we know that there are a number of titles used of God. For example, God Almighty or God the Lord of Hosts and so forth. And likewise, when we come over into the New Testament, we have a number of titles that are used uh, by or of uh, Jesus himself. He is called the Lord, he is called our Savior, and so forth. But this leads to one question I would like to ask you. Has Jesus ever been known by the title Apostle? You have to think about that one for a second, right? I mean, you'd, normally you'd probably just write off the top of your head and say, well, no, because the Apostle, he created the Apostles out of the disciples he had. Well, I have a little verse for you out of Hebrews today that says just the opposite. It comes from Hebrews chapter 3, verse 1. And real quick, on the context here, the author of Hebrews in the first two chapters has spoken about the supremacy of Jesus over the prophets of old and also over the mighty angels. And now in chapter 3, he's just getting ready to show the supremacy of Jesus over Moses himself. And that's where we find this verse, Hebrews chapter 3, verse 1. Let me read it to you and then we'll break it down. It's very interesting. Here we go. Therefore, holy brothers and sisters, partakers of a heavenly calling, consider the apostle and high priest of our confession, Jesus. Now, isn't that interesting what we find there? But let, let's break it down. It's saying some interesting things here. So the therefore, obviously, he's already talked about the supremacy of Jesus over the Old Testament prophets, over the angels. And he says, therefore, because of this, holy brothers and sisters, that word holy means uh, separated by or for God for a specific purpose, you know, something that's sacred. So the brothers and sisters, us, Christians, are holy to God. We're set apart for God. But check this out. Those who are partakers of a heavenly calling... That word partakers in the Greek means partners. So we're partners with others of this heavenly calling. But I like the way in the Greek it says the heavenly calling. That word for calling is actually an invitation that's sent out. Where is it sent out from? Literally above the sky. So what he's saying initially is, therefore, those of you Christians who are set apart for God, those of you who partake together in this invitation which comes from beyond the sky consider. And that word to me means consider something very carefully. It means to pick it apart, to discern it, to take note of it. And what are we to take note of? The apostle and high priest of our confession. Who's that? Jesus. And here that word apostle, let me give you, a, here's a slide that gives you a definition of it. An apostle simply means one who is sent forth. And normally, it's a type of word that focuses back on the authority of the one who is doing the sending. So yes, you were correct in your answer in the beginning. Jesus did use his disciples and sent them forth to preach the kingdom of God, which made them apostles. But God the Father sent his Son forth from heaven to give this invitation to us to be, through Jesus, the apostle, the true apostle of God, to join him in the kingdom of God. Isn't that neat? I never really thought about that before. And again, that's something so neat about the word of God. You read through it a thousand times and all of a sudden one word just jumps out at you. So yes, Jesus is the apostle of God. And maybe we might have to come back on this later and talk about him being a high priest too because we don't usually think of him as being a priest. But in any case, I hope this will give you some strength. Let's go to prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you for these words. Thank you for these tidbits of gold that we've had. We've said this a number of times. Thank you that Jesus was sent forth from you, the Son of God, to become flesh, as we've seen in some of our other Barnabas minutes, so that he could proclaim your word to us and act as a high priest, which again, we may have to visit that sometime soon here. So thank you for these words of encouragement and strength, and thank you for sending your Son for us, our Lord, our Savior, and our Apostle. For we ask it in Christ's name. Amen. All right, my friends, go in peace, and we'll see you next time.